We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barbershop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. I want to say something. This man was one year in and made more money than the number one basketball pick for WNBA and the number seven combined. And they getting paid over four years. He made it one year more than both of them combined. That is tough. He's making more money than Clayton. Cool. So this man made more money, was going to make more money than Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese would make in four know. years. That's cap. That's not. They both only yeah, making three hundred k in four years. Yeah, but Caitlin Clark just made three million. We not talk about like what she, she actually made. Makes. We talk about from the in college or for just NIL from bills. NILs. We talk about MB, WNBA salary. She's only making three hundred k for four years. That's crazy. I mean, but we already know WNBA don't. That, that's why they got. So I, I, I get. I agree. You know what I'm saying that's yeah, why I they agree. got. She gonna make way that's more why they elsewhere. Jerseys be looking like a, a billboard. You know what I'm saying with a hundred. So logos fact, bro. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. why when the season is over, they going overseas to play ball overseas. Because yeah, they only make seventy thousand a year. I didn't know it was that. It was that crucial. That's Yo, ain't no way I'm WNBA making more than a players, WNBA player, bro. That's why a lot of WNBA players on the off season they working regular jobs. You know what I'm saying that's that's, that's real shit. crazy. We spoke about this before, though, bro. That is, bro. But she's that definitely she's definitely making millions though, because she got wow. Oh no, contracts. everything outside of NBA contract. She because she's yeah, she's gonna make but the, just the NBA contract. Her and her and Angel Reese makes way more than they would make in four years in the WNBA, which kind of goes to my point where like I don't even know why they went to the WNBA. They could have stayed in college and just capitalized on the NIL deals. Nah, but nah, maybe nah. It's the promotion. I mean, well, it's was, the maybe they can. She it's was, the, she was yeah, maybe they they deals is bigger when they go to the NBA. I, yeah, outside yeah, of basketball, you're professional. You 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 the money ain't there, but there's opportunity there if you know how to market yourself. Bro. Okay, there's a lot of but, different opportunity, bro. When you, when you somebody can see you every day on TV, you got opportunity, bro. You know I mean? As okay. soon as she got drafted, her jersey was the number one selling jersey. Yep. Yeah, that's a fact. She got an Adam Apple. This a hey, all you women go you watch the game. Black. Yeah, that PSA. All PSA. you women, I remember yeah. episode ninety one. We talked about this. Go watch the game, shorty. This is for That's the women. The guys can't do everything. That's we can't. Yeah, you know I mean, we got our own. I got to go support. I, yeah, I just want to bring light on this because we talk about basketball. We talk about sports. So Caitlin Clark, this is her salary, and this is Angel Reese, right? And these were supposed to be the two biggest out of the college this year, outside of home homegirl from South Carolina that got drafted before Angel. I forgot her name. What's her name? Cardoza? What's her name? Cardoza, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They both went to Chicago. That's how Chicago gonna be tough with their bigs. But anyway, um, yeah, these are the people that were making cake in college. And this is what they come to the WNBA. So as Bash said, watch the WNBA. Support yeah, bro. The teams. This is this don't make no sense. Nah, see, but I don't like this. I don't like this. See, this is what get me mad, right? Nobody cares until it's time to care or somebody that they love to care about. Yeah. This has been a problem for a long time, but now now everybody and their mama talking about how much, bro. What the heck, bro? It has, but it has to start. I agree, Hop, but it has to start somewhere. I hate that line too. It has to start somewhere. It should have, bro. It should have been. It shouldn't be Angela Reese and this person coming in the way we all talking about this, bro. well, the reason these is to these two people mainly is because they're making way more money than what they were making in WNBA, which wasn't always the case. Like college number, no, like the NILs is new is a newer thing, right? So they couldn't really take anything in college. So now they're making all this money in college. It's almost the preemptive, like why go to the WNBA if I can make millions in college, and then I only go to the WNBA and make three hundred k for four years. So that's why it's such a big deal deal now and why it's reoccurring. I fully agree. This has been an issue for years. People don't support the WNBA, myself included. Um, but this is the prime example of it's not they was making people, more money in college. Though. I mean, I mean, it's yeah, people, but 
Uh, also, uh, I think uh, NBA players should take some. Yeah. You know? That's a good point. Should, should put that on their back. Initiative. Now, go, yeah, go, yeah. Go, you feel me? Go pull up to these games. Now, nah, I mean, go, yeah. I mean, y'all not playing. Go put up to, at least to your own city, to the teams in your own town. Know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like, people pull up go, just because you're there. Exactly. I'm this is what, I know what I'm doing. Next time my girl talk about my wife talk about yo, I wanted that that that. Now we going to the WNBA game. We going to see your girl's ball. That's a fact. You're pretty. We going. To, we going to see. see. That's what. That's and they got to make that a thing. Get dressed up. Yeah. Go see them. Y'all ain't pretty, sexy. You know what I mean? Go you see, see it. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, I've been to a Liberty game and bro they it's like they close they got to close down like certain parts of yeah, sections of the, that are the garden right in order of, yep. like, for the games because they can't even fill out right you know what I'm saying? like you can't fill out half the shit. right that's a fact bro that's why in order for them to even stay afloat the wnba has to have all these partnerships and sponsorships in place mm-hmm. and and part of the nba's uh some of the the fees that come out of the nba check actually goes to the wba to pay for their salaries too i got a solution for this though what's up i know what you're about to say i know what you about to say no 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 bullshit no bullshit because <laughs> you need they gotta bring <laughs> viewers like you have they gotta find a way to market and bring viewers or bring more people to the stadium make the way yeah home. but she I knew that was going to I'll do it. No, I'm saying? I'll do it. Here come the football. I knew it was coming. The show in this pig. Yo, if they wore thongs. You rhinoceros. What he you say? They're coming to America? I don't remember. You're, you're nasty, bro. Yo, bro. So, what? My realistic thing is when somebody, I don't know who mentioned it, but it's been talked about, is lowering the rims for them from 10 to maybe eight or nine feet with a women with a women could dunk more because it has to be more exciting like people like seeing people nah, get but they're not listen. physical like that man they gonna hurt this up man yo listen the game that's, see, yo, that, that's a stereotype too because them they yo, are bro, physical. listen man love it with don't them. have yo it don't have nothing to do with the game it don't got nothing to do with the game you, they, you they, sure? they are they are extremely skilled yeah women I mean, you know, basketball players that are women that are in the WNBA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, without question, you know what I'm saying, handles they shoot, they do. You know what I mean, they, they is extremely skilled. It's not a matter of the game itself. It's just a matter of the awareness. They don't receive. I don't agree. That much attention. They're not. Don't they don't receive that much awareness? None of that. I don't agree. Reason being. Kaitlyn Clark is a prime example. She's been shooting from Curry Rangers. She's almost she's also one of the most viewed college players this season. That's an NBA trait that Curry pretty much put on point, like for people Andrew to watch. Reese ain't shooting from Curry Range. Yeah, but she's bigger outside of basketball itself. She's a persona. The reason they watch her, right? So you just again, made my point though. That's what I'm saying, but those are reasons in it, right? So yeah. you, you give them more reasons to watch to make you know, it more interesting. I was about to say that I don't like when you, I don't like when people because you got to speak, right. you got to be in that atmosphere, right? Though, like, no, it but is. I I'm no, saying, like, I, I, right. I'm not, I'm not gonna say not in the WNBA, I've been in female college basketball game, so no, not a WNBA game, no, and you don't even watch the WNBA, that's not true either, but I'm not consistent. I'm not gonna sit and say I watch fifty. Watching years, one no. or two games is not the same as I really understanding how that thing works. Like, but those, but that but viewing that game, you it's very quickly you can see nobody's getting dunked on, nobody's falling, none of that. Whereas in the NBA, that's that's a that's almost every game in a sense. Somebody else, somebody's getting dunked on, somebody's getting blocked crazy, sending somebody's. It's a certain things that people look the physicality in a sense. But the, so the people that go into WNBA games, they not they not looking for that. And I, I but we got to expand beyond that category because they are not enough to support them. So you have they, to bring some. 
Oh my god. They all know, but this is where you're wrong. They are enough okay. to be to support. It's just you have to get people in the in the in the arena. You got to get people in there. You have to right. make people aware. Yes, the branding is terrible for the teams. You have to make people aware of... Yo, bro, there's people that have WNBA teams in their CD that they don't even know there's a WNBA. That's a fact. The branding is bad, bro. The marketing is terrible, bro. It's terrible. They have to make their stars look like superstars. The NBA makes you believe that, you know, LeBron, uh, 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 you know, Luca, they got to get names, nicknames, characters. We need commercials. We need investment we need to invest in them more you know what i mean they don't do that well they used to do that in the 90s remember they used to have commercial days to be on tv shows WNBA play y'all remember martin come yep. on man you know what i mean y'all remember these they don't do that for them no more i don't know what the WNBA is doing but you got to get them in the mix like have them come on cost and that show have somebody come you know what i mean like the girls got to work you feel me and make it popular make it really lit again you know what i mean everybody got to play their part but that, not that's doing that and and that's a bigger part of expanding and making it more entertaining in a sense but, like and that's not that ex- necessarily dunking though you're saying like it's about dunking and things. yeah no. but you okay so you get the exposure you got to get them to come there you got to get them wanting to come back so you're doing this it's a multi-step process that's why i'm agreeing with you you got to get the exposure for them to want to come see a WNBA game and then you got to retain them because you might get that one and done like oh i went to a WNBA game and never come back Nah, if you go to a WMA game, you go realize it's lit. The old day right. lit up in there. Yo, they, yo, it just, bro, that it's is not just enough a, of them. They lit right. up. There. It's just a matter of pushing the envelope. You know what I mean? Pushing them forward. That's all. They be in there you dancing. I mean? They be in there having a great time. Like they you be gotta, having it be lit. You got to push it forward. You know what I'm saying that's why I said, in my opinion, you know, I, I feel like you know people, guys like you know the Braun. You know I'm saying, yeah. Uh, you know, big, you know, stars. And I'm saying that, that you know, know what I mean? They they go on, go on to that attention wherever they go. Know what I'm saying? They got that, the... That's kind of tough, though, because they got their own they, stuff, too, though. They did it at some point. Like, at some point, they actually was complaining about it, too, at some point. Like, that. some NBA yeah, players that. were saying, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yo, the WNBA games ain't, you know, the, the women ain't getting it just do. You, get, you got some... NBA players that be pulling up to the games, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it would be, you know, it's not an expectancy of, yo, y'all going to the game every time they have a game. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? But if you got a day off or a couple of days off and you got your team in your city, you know what I mean? The New York Liberty, the Dallas Wings, the Atlanta Dream, whatever it may be, you know what I mean? And you play, you already in that city, nigga, why not pull up the game right quick? You know what I'm saying? Get some eyes, get some cameras flickering, get some promo, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all, at the end of the day, y'all go hand in hand. Y'all work, y'all, y'all like colleagues at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And if they did that, they could, they could get some of their paycheck back. <laughs> if the, the NBA actually grew, you know what I'm saying? Because the, a lot of the NBA uh, portion of their check supports the WNBA. So if you help them grow, that liability could go away. So it works for you too in a long in a grand scheme of things, but people don't think that way. 